Welcome back Wolfpack, Verlus here, and this is how to use Gigalith. Now Gigalith has really good stats, I mean 135 attack, that's excellent right there, and 130 on the defense, and then like we've seen before, 25 speed, well we know this Pokemon's going to get outsped by a lot anyways, so having those points not get wasted in speed is great, also gives us Trick Room potential, so that is something to consider, and 60 special attack. We're not trying to be a special attacker, so right now, looks like we have this huge physical wall Pokemon, and 85 hit points with 80 defense means we can can somewhat take a special attack as well as long as it isn't super effective so it's really going to be playing around that 135 attack and 130 defense overall the stats just come together really really well look at its typing gigalith it's a pure rock type now fun fact when I first saw gigalith I thought it was like a rock ground type or something so I really overcompensate for it but it's just a straight up rock typing and that's all you need to remember it's not really too difficult once you see the typing get laid out like this so hopefully you guys won't struggle like I did, and then we also just have those weaknesses. A lot of weaknesses on that pure rock typing. Fighting, ground, steel, water, and grass. So you do have a lot to worry about. Some of it's very common, like ground and steel especially, and then fighting, water, and grass you will run into from time to time. Do get an okay amount of resistances, normal, flying, poison, and fire, and then the rest is going to be neutral. Alright, hopping into Pokemon Showdown, I'm going to lead with the most fun Gigalith strategy. That Custap Berry is a really sick item. Holder moves first in its priority bracket when at one quarter max hit points or less. So pretty much it's one of those berries like a Taya Berry, a Salak Berry. Instead it gives you a Quick Claw, like a guaranteed Quick Claw on the next turn. So that gives you a lot of really good potential with that Sturdy ability. Sturdy into one of those berries is really, really great. So I mean, this is what we have. We have Sturdy, you know, you just get your setup going, you get dropped down to one hit points, cuss that berry activates, and then you go off. Also, I was thinking we still run hit point investment. So that way if we see like a special attack that's going to drop us down, we survive that regardless, or we can maybe be a two or three hit KO Pokemon. That if we're enduring non-super effective physical hits, even some super effective physical hits, we're just going to be able to tank it out really well, and then still get even more set up on top of that. So the idea is you throw out Stealth Rock, you take your hit, you get dropped down to one hit points, you use Explosion, and that's going to be the KO right there. And that's kind of the main thing about this, is Stealth Rock Explosion. Now if you do have other opportunities, use them. You know, Stealth Rock into a Stone Edge or something. That way, you just kind of wait until that Custap Berry goes off against Pokemon that aren't hitting you as much. If they're also going for setup, you know, you go Stealth Rock, they go Stealth Rock as well, then you can try to get some extra damage on Earthquake. If you Earthquake them twice in a row before Custap Berry goes off, that could be really good, because we are still a one 135 attack Pokemon so I mean adamant nature 252 investment in hit points 252 investment into the attack a super effective stone edge or earthquake has a very high chance of getting a KO or you can just you know back to back on the stone edges so that's another really good trade scenario that the opponent might not be ready for with a gigalith that you go stealth rock they go sticky web stealth rock they go for calm but they do whatever they want and then you get another stone edge so they damage you stone edge they damage you if it doesn't knock you out you still use your stone edge and if it also drops you down you know below that quarter hit points then you have Custap Berry activating so you might be able to score a KO because you're just so much tankier than them because you have a really good attack and then you get to still use your explosion cost stat berry even after all of your setup now that is going to be like ultimate best case scenario but gigalith is very reliable so i mean worst case is like you get a stealth rock off and then me medium case is stealth rock into explosion best case is you score like two ko's or you score a ko and huge amounts of damage or you don't even have to use that cost stat berry into the explosion now if you can still knock them out with earthquake or stone edge you can do that as well so a lot of options right here for the gigalith next up we just have pure tank gigalith with this you're going to want to go impish nature max out hit points max out special defense and then just have your defense being huge and now we're going to be a very tough pokemon to take out or if you just want pure physical defensive pokemon you can do that as well with that you might also want to run the rocky helmet that way if your opponents try to hit you with any kind of physical hit it's not really going to matter so then you just have that rocky helmet and you barely take a damage you're getting off set up and then they're taking rocky helmet damage pairing this with a special defensive tank is going to be really nice and if that pokemon has sustain then you're going to be really good so with this you set up stealth rocks you kind of do whatever and then you just toxic stone edge and heavy slam until cool things happen the reason why I like Heavy Slam on this set is because against uh, Fairy-type Pokemon, they are going to be outspeeding you, but they're not really going to threaten you too much, and Fairy-type Pokemon aren't generally that heavy, so you could run something like Iron Head, but since Gigalith is like 560-something pounds, or 570-something pounds, it's a really heavy Pokemon. Against a Pokemon that weighs less than like 100 and. 
20 something I don't know the exact math but against a lot of pretty commonly weighted Pokemon heavy slam is just going to do more damage so you can play that risk game as well that fairy type Pokemon generally going to be lighter like a Sylveon you're going to be able to do much more damage with heavy slam than an iron head so use heavy slam for that I'm just showing the other offensive options heavy slam or earthquake and then you always have to have that stone edge even uninvested 306 attack with a 105 base power stab move that's going to be pretty ridiculous. So, say they hit you, Rocky Helmet damage into a Stone Edge. They're also, also taking Stealth Rock, or you just go Toxic Stone Edge. That could be a KO right there, and you're just so tanky. So you can use Gigalith as a really, really good physical wall on your team. And as long as you just play around it, it's going to be nice. That it is a tanky Pokemon. It's not looking for the sweeps. You don't want to leave it in on something that's going to do too much damage to it. Unless you know you're going to trade a KO for it. That if you know the Pokemon that's hitting you might do a lot of damage. But you can like KO it with a Heavy Slam or Stone Edge. Or if you really need Stealth Rocks or tox Toxic Damage, you can keep it in. But you want Gigalith to be around until your opponent doesn't have any more physical Pokemon. Because it's just going to stop them every time they try to gain that physical momentum. So that's going to be Gigalith from a pure tanky standpoint. And then there's also a little bit of setup Gigalith. So sturdy into any of those setup areas is going to be pretty nice. And what I was thinking was Rock Polish. Now here's where things get difficult. 25 speed with Rock Polish, not going to mean a lot. That if we max out our speed, we only have 149. So we're doubling that. We're not even going to hit 300 base speed. That we're also going to be at 298, which means we don't even stop 100 base speed Pokemon because that's going to be 299 if they don't have a speed boosted nature. So then we might have to consider Jolly. However, that takes off a lot of points just to push us to 126, which then doesn't outspeed 100, 100 base speed Pokemon with a beneficial nature. So let's just go and take a Pokemon like Celebi and say we go to mid nature and we max out. That's 328. So that means we're actually not even going to get to that 328. So we don't have the speed. But at the same time, we could be a beastly Pokemon with this setup. So we go Rock Polish and then we have whatever options we want. As long as we're finding the, those outspeeds that, you know, if we take out a lot of the opponent's sweepers, we can really use this to outspeed and bust down some opponents with that Lychee Berry. So we use Rock Polish, say we get hit by a super effective move that would KO us. Sturdy activates, Lychee, Lychee Berry is going to be there, and then we just go for Stone Edge, Earthquake, or Explosion. Stone Edge, that's your coverage, that's your huge damage. Earthquake, that's going to work out really well, but Lychee Berry, it's giving us that plus one stage. We're getting 50% more damage. So Stone Edge definitely going to start finding some neutral KOs at this point. Earthquake for the coverage, and then Explosion. And if you just don't really have anything else to do, Explosion is going to be a massive amount of damage. Boosted with that Lychee Berry could get pretty serious. So here's the situation where it's like, ah oh man. Now if Gigalith, say, had 40 base speed and like 30-something special attack, this set would be a lot more viable. If you are trying to run with this setup, it does hurt just a little for that because we, now, like, we were praising the low speed earlier, but now that we're trying to get into it, it gets us in some weird situations. So if we don't want to do that, we can also run Adamant Nature. That means we try to go for two Rock Polishes. If we get two Rock Polish, we're going to be really safe and say we still find a way to get Sturdy off. That's the best case scenario. And then we have a plus one Gigalith with 135 base Adamant attack, throwing out Stone Edge, Earthquake, and Explosion. The opponent's going to have a really bad time after that. So if you're looking to gain some momentum, this set can work on that monstrous tank or excellent setup gimmick. I mean, you're going to get Stealth Rocks and very, very likely a KO with this. So if you guys enjoyed the video, that's how you use Gigalith, and I hope you all have a nice day. Thank you for watching.